We recommend you to watch our previous video when we talked about the different types of energies which we have. Well, we mentioned kinetic and potential energy and defined them. So here today we're going to be talking about another type of energy, which is mechanical energy. So mechanical energy is actually the sum of the gravitational potential energy and the kinetic energy at a point. So what is this mechanical energy? So if we are combining kinetic energy and potential energy together by adding them together then we have this new energy called mechanical energy well these can be our primary energies which we have initially and then this is our secondary one well here we can expand the formula whereby ek is actually half m v squared remember that to be able to calculate the kinetic energy you need half mv squared that is why we replaced ek with half mv squared and then we add it with ep ep talks about mg H. So mgh is just the mass multiplied by the gravitational acceleration and the height. So mechanical energy is as easy as combining kinetic energy and potential energy. Well, let's take an example. In this example, a ball of mass 500 grams is thrown horizontally through the air. The ball travels at velocity of 1,8 meters per second and is 2,5 meters from the ground. Therefore, determine the mechanical energy of the ball. Remember that when we're looking for mechanical energy, we're looking for the, for, for the combination of the kinetic and the potential energy as well. So here, let's take for our data, we are given that the mass of the ball is 500 grams. It is very important for you to write down your data so that you do you know exactly what are you calculating and what are you dealing with. So the second thing we are given here is the velocity at, at which this ball travels. So this ball travels at velocity of 1,8 meters per second. And then uh, it is 2,5 meters from the ground. So this is your height in meters. 2,5 meters from the ground. Okay, now we want to calculate the mechanical energy of this ball. I will read the statement again. It says that a ball of mass 500 grams is thrown horizontally through the air. The ball travels at a velocity of 1,8 meters per second and is 2,5 meters from the ground. Determine the mechanical energy of the ball. Therefore, we are going to be using our formula for mechanical energy that's, that, that adds kinetic energy and potential energy. Well, you can see that we do not have the values of kinetic and potential energy. Therefore, we have to use, we always to expand kinetic energy because we know that kinetic energy is equal to half mv squared plus the potential energy is equal to mgh. Well, here we have the mass of the ball given it's 500 the velocity at which the ball moves is 1,8 squared. And then we add to the mass, which is 500, multiplied by 9,8 meters per second, multiplied by its height. Its height we are given in the data is 2,5 meters. Well, this, all of this, if we're going to actually solve it out, then we're going to get the value of the mechanical energy of this ball. So, the value of the mechanical energy of this ball is 18,06 joules. Well, joules is the unit in which you measure any type of energy, be it mechanical, potential, or kinetic energy. Next time, we're going to be talking about the principle of conservation of mechanical energy. Don't forget to subscribe, tell your friends to stay tuned.